All right, you know what, gang? Let's start with number six. Uh, fit check. The it bag of the moment is if I need to tell you is the Louis Vuitton paint bucket bag. Oh, God. What was that reaction for? It's this just is ridiculous. Fashion, right? Well, you, yeah. would, you wouldn't get it. No, I, <laughs> I, wouldn't, the, I wouldn't get it. Part of the 2022 fall menswear collection yeah. from late creator, director Virgil Abloh. It comes in six colors and has a absolutely fabulous metal strap. And to me, that is really what sets it apart. Oh, you yeah. can't mistake it for anything else because no one does motifs like LV. The bag is about $3,000, <laughs> a small price to pay yeah. for fashion. Yeah. You yeah. better get it soon because certain colors are already out of stock. Yeah. I poo, bet. poo it all you want, but the people have spoken and they love it. Yeah. The metal handle makes it much more masculine. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, number five, whatever happened to Morton Kondrak? He was one of the commentators from the McLaughlin Group. Oh, it's Kondracki. I'm, I'm not familiar with him. If you're not familiar, the McLaughlin Group was a weekly syndicated public <laughs> affairs show. At one point, President Reagan re referred to it as the political version of Animal House. Anyway, uh, he's currently a trustee of Dartmouth, a board member of the Parkinson's Action, Action Network, and a member of the Founders Council of the Michael J. Fox Foundation uh, for Parkinson's research in honor of his wife who died of Parkinson's in 2004. Uh, whatever happened to those commentators from the McLaughlin Group? Well, let's start with Morton. He was born in Chicago. Huh, who knew? And, uh, are we telling more? I thought we gave his whole uh, no, history I think there. No, uh, we just accidentally copied the same script. So good for him. Ah. The prompter. Now Larry's a little bit stuck. No, I'm just uh, taking it all in. Yeah. I remember him by face, but I, I certainly didn't remember yeah, his I name. I just remember them spoofing that on SNL. Yeah. Right. That's my only thing. I'm talking about <laughs> politics of the day. Go. Oh, Larry Potter. Go. Go. Yeah. Go. <laughs> all right, number four. More people are looking for ways to ease anxiety when traveling. Here's an idea. Try exercising. Since most people are getting to the airport early these days, exercise scientists suggest walking around. Get your steps in. Airports are climate controlled, mm -hmm. and it's even even walking paths, yeah. you know? I mean, it's like others have workout rooms or small gyms. Did you know that mm -hmm. at the airport? I did not. Other options? How about you just do lunges or squats yeah. near your seat? Yeah. That doesn't oh, look yeah. strange at all. No. Or how about you travel with a resistance band yeah. in your luggage so you can stretch? See, you just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, get your onesie, your yeah. unitard out, and just yeah. do lunges in Terminal 3. You know what else works great? Bourbon. That, I <laughs> yeah. found, really helps as well. That's right. Uh, number three, a new list is out of the happiest cities in the Come world. On. It's Come on. based on things like culture and environment, stability, health care, education, and infrastructure, all eliminating Chicago. <laughs> uh, Vienna ranked number one. Copenhagen ranked number two, while Zurich and Calgary tied for number three. I really have to start traveling. You know, there's really a lot of beautiful places on, out you there. You can see all this stuff in Bridgeport. You, I know. I mean, I've been to all the sites around here. You keep saying that you're anti-travel. That well, you don't I want. To, are you? Are you changing your tune now? No, Is I'm Mr. Not, Rex changing you? No, I, I'm not anti-travel. It's just exhausting, and I'm not a very relaxed traveler. What? So even when wow, I'm. Wow, that's surprising. <laughs> <laughs> You're generally such a. Uh, Even when I'm on vacation, woman. I have a hard time relaxing because yeah. yeah. I keep thinking about missing flights, doing yeah. this. Right. I, I don't find it relaxing. Yeah. Well, you would do great in a foreign country. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, we should go. You should go to China. That's a yeah. really relaxed I'm sure I'd environment do really to great. visit. Really great. All right, number two. Remember when mom used to tell you to wait at least 30 minutes to swim after oh, eating? Oh yeah. Not to discredit mom, but experts with Duke Health say it's not needed. The myth likely started over 100 years ago 
when a Boy Scout handbook cautioned swimmers to wait before going in the water, saying it could lead to your body cramping. Well, medical professionals say eating does divert blood to your intestinal tract, but not enough to endanger you in the water. Drinking alcohol, on the other hand, is another story. They say that might be harmful if you yeah. uh, go swimming right after. Hmm. Well, if you believe doctors. Yeah. I remember being at the park pool and eating those hot stuff potato chips yeah. and just my mom making me sit there with my yeah. red hot stuff fingers and waiting to yeah. 30 minutes to get back in the pool. Yeah. Right. Lies. Lies. Uh, number one from Ferris Bueller, 16 Candles, Pretty in Pink, The Breakfast Club, John Hughes Movies, where the soundtracks of the 80s and a new deluxe set is coming out featuring all the music. The John Hughes Mixtapes comes out November 11th. It's available for pre-order. Um, yeah. Are they Roger? on actual tapes? Yeah. I guess. Um, <laughs> yeah right. Do you know any of those songs, Roger? I recognize the Ferris Bueller one. The there Ferris Bueller one you run from the movie, yeah. Yeah, well, you were going to have to get you some and sit you down <laughs> and have a music appreciation day with Roger. <laughs> All right. He's like our you. great.